Welcome to our channel. When wearing black soldier fly in small or large scale, some of us might have experienced colony collapse. Colony collapse is the term used to define when all the larvae that has been reared dies slowly until no larvae are left alive. This might cause huge loss to the farmers since it may take months to recover the colony back to normal like it was before. To cover this topic, we have divided the video into two parts. In the first part, we will be talking about the symptoms and causes of colony collapse, while in the second part, we will deal with different measures that helps to prevent and mitigate the loss. What are the symptoms of colony collapse? The first symptom of colony collapse is that the BSF larvae stop eating at its normal rate. The larvae cannot consume the feed provided to them at the intended period of time. Secondly, the larvae slows down its motion. It becomes passive and irresponsive to the food provided. This symptom may even last for a week. After some days, some dead larvae can be seen in the bin. This causes foul air. As time passes by, the rate of the death of larvae increases causing mass extermination. It can also be observed that the dead larvae have some deformities in their body. This incident occurs at slow rate in the beginning and the farmers if do not act quickly upon it may suffer big loss. So what causes colony collapse? Colony collapse might have many causes, but in this video, we will explain about the one that we experienced in our farm. The major cause of colony death of larvae that we encountered was the growth of mites or the predator insects in the bin. We experienced colony collapse when the bin was introduced with feed containing high amount of grains. Additionally, these mites were also attracted when the food given to the larvae was surplus and it took these larvae longer time to consume the given feed. The surplus food attracted the mites that directly attacked the larvae. There are different types of predator insects that may attack the larvae. The one that we observed was tiny and white in color. Their movement could only be traced if they were observed carefully. These mites preferred the environment that had moderate moisture content, so they were easily attracted to the larval food. When they entered into the bin, they started attacking the larvae. Especially, the smaller ones were more prone to mites attack. The mites got into the belly of the larvae and sucked the fluid out of them, thereby leaving deformities in their body. With favorable environment, the mites replicated themselves at faster rate that ultimately increased the rate of larval death. The mites attack can be decreased in many ways. If proper steps are taken at the right time, a big loss from the colony collapse can be prevented. The preventive measures are listed in the second part of this video. Keep following our channel. 